Let's start our journey with thinking about how we can place model elements using dynamo geometry with a very simple example, and that's just placing some reference points and curves in a Revit mass family. And there's really just a couple steps here. We'll be looking at how we can place some reference points in the family by basically defining some geometry points and then placing some reference points and then really placing some curves that connect those points. At a high level, the example looks like this. We're gonna basically create some just uh, defining points Go through and create a Revit curve from those points. And then finally, we're just going to basically get that curve geometry from the curve and do something with it. We might be able to kind of place some elements on that or uh, you know, place some uh, components kind of on the different points that we can uh, place on that element. In the end up, we'll have something that looks like this with a couple different reference points and a line connecting them that we could then use as the basis for uh, just kind of maybe building a nice you know, parametric Revit family that we'll be able to use as one of our modeling elements.